hip hop. Now let me take you back to a time to when life was nothing but a survival test. We had to learn how to talk, walk, and at the same time, watch a step. We had to grow up fast, couldn't stop to rest. Baby boys just barely off mama's breast. See, at a toddler's best, we had to learn to not forget that the streets have cold. You'll get shot for the block you wreck. And they'll chop your neck for being off the fence. Shit, we turned to hip hop because we didn't have no options left. So instead of being a thug and pushing dimes and cents, we were more focused on how to make our tonsils stretch. We were trying to bring rhythm out the aside for guests and every hard work and cipher left us out of breath. Yeah, we couldn't help thinking that the clocks were set. You either end up in jail or as an office tent. Before headlines, Saddam, and bonds with threats, the best place to be at was the project bench. That's where we got finesse and got lots of wreck before dots effects. I traveled continents to stay positive was only common sense because we were our own dad since pops had left. And every day you keep wondering if moms was next. Being out on the street pushed her heart to death. She understood nothing of this artist's quest, only looking for her son with an ostrich neck. And it was the only way to get pain off the chest. Breathing in and out lyrics if the mind was stressed. You see, hip-hop was there for us. No matter how hard the problem gets, the only thing in our life that gave us oxygen. And it gave us the confidence to roam around this metropolis. It showed us the one true meaning of what accomplished meant. And I don't try to get on stage to deliver false promises, but I promise this. Hip-hop is more than what you think. Hip-hop is a consciousness.